I'm a male patient here with several stab wounds. Well, you can hear the urgency in the dispatch calls. A man desperately needs help, but an ambulance is nowhere nearby. So the question is, what's holding up rural metro? And this isn't the first time we're hearing about slow response times to some very serious emergencies. Just yesterday, a stabbing victim laid on the ground outside a gas station in the city's Lovejoy neighborhood. A spokesperson for rural metro says the first 911 call came in around 436, but because of a spike in volume, an ambulance didn't arrive on the scene into 4:49. That's 13 minutes later. News 4's Lou Ragus is working to get to the root of the problem. Lou. The call came in Monday at 4:36 p.m. as a stabbing. The victim at a gas station parking lot needing an ambulance. Uh, we just got a stabbing at 1623 William Street. The district cars are responding. Buffalo police say the incident was a result of road rage on William Street in Lovejoy, with 39-year-old Benjamin Addison of Cheektowaga stabbing a 21-year-old man. And when the ambulance response didn't immediately come, you can hear the tone change in the emergency responder's voice. We need an ambulance here ASAP. Rural Metro spokesman Brian Lawson says there was a big spike in calls at that time. An ambulance was freed up from ECMC and headed to William Street, arriving 13 minutes after it was called. Is a 13-minute response for something like this acceptable? Um, I, I think we'd always like to get there faster, uh, but uh, in, in this particular case, uh, we were able to, to provide uh, uh, good patient care um, uh, uh, to the person and, and get them to the hospital. Lawson says ideally an ambulance will respond to the most serious calls in eight to ten minutes. But the call for this stabbing, he says, was not for advanced life support, but rather basic life support. Had it been elevated to ALS, Lawson says he doesn't know whether an ambulance could have been there sooner. Common Council President Richard Fontana was concerned last month after a shooting victim died after it reportedly took 15 minutes for Rural Metro to respond and take him to the hospital. Fontana met with Rural Metro to learn more about its staffing. I can't fault them if they're doing their job, of course. However, how can they do their job better is always the question that we have to ask as a city. You know, the city, um, uh, if we had a lot more people, they'd probably need a lot more ambulances. So maybe with more people moving back in the city, it might be time to look at the minimum number of ambulances in the city of Buffalo. Concerning the controversy over last month's response to the shooting victim, Fontana now defends Rural Metro. He agrees they had an unusually high call volume at the time and they were operating above the minimum number of ambulances the city requires.